So I'm with Peter Field from Somnomed, and I'm going to talk to Peter about mandibular advancement splints, which I use a lot in the treatment of snoring and sleep apnea. So Peter, I really like these devices, and particularly the Somnomed device, I think it's a really useful device. Can you tell us a bit about the Somnomed appliances? Sure, so Somnomed has been around now, David, for about 10 years in Australia. Um, the original Somnomed was developed by a Sydney dentist, and, and we now have a worldwide coverage, um, we've just made our 250,000th device, so we've, we've gone international. Um, it's a very simple design, it's what we call a wing coupling system, so basically we have an orthodontic screw on the upper and a little wing on the lower, and the idea is that the, the device simply brings the jaw forward, the theory being that by bringing the jaw forward you improve the patency of the airway, and that reduces the number of apneas, hypopneas during the night. So for patients, ideal for patients who can't tolerate CPAP or often we're now selling them for patients who wish to travel and it's the convenience of travelling with something small that you small and discreet if you like. Yeah. And, and I'll use them for snoring um, and I agree with you it's often I'll have people got their CPAP machine at home but a mandibular advancement splint that they use uh, for travel. But one of the other problems I have clinically is transport drivers or commercial workers and you know it's been tough to measure compliance with uh, oral appliances so how do you go about that? I'm, I'm glad you asked the question David. <laughs> um, so Somnomed has just introduced a little product called DentiTrack. It's, it comes out of Canada by a company called Braybon. The DentiTrack picks up on body temperature so basically it'll start recording when the patient puts it in their mouth at night and when they take it out in the morning. So that way you get a nice little report that says patient is wearing their device every night, wearing it for eight hours a night. Joe Neum is at the meeting. Joe has done an initial study of 69 of these patients. Um, he's showing average nighttime usage is 7.5 hours. Average overall compliance is 85%, which is what the data tells us, but we now have a way to measure that. Patient self-reporting was saying that most people put it in when they go to bed and take it out when they get, get up in the morning. Now we've got a way of measuring that. Yeah, yeah. And one of the other problems or things I try to do when I'm using oral appliances is make sure people are working with dentists who are familiar with the appliances. So if physicians or patients are interested in this type of device, how do they go about finding someone who's experienced and can use your products? Absolutely. Thanks, David. We have uh, a number of representatives in each state, and our job is basically to get in front of the sleep physicians and let them know about our product and some of the 17 clinical trials that we have behind our product. Um, but it's also to link them to our Somnomed network, and we've now got over 900 active Somnomed partners. So they've been through a Somnomed course, so they're approved by us to be able to fit the devices, and we can give the sleep physician a list of those approved, approved dentists. Yeah. Thanks for your help, Peter. David, it's been a pleasure. No problem. Thank you. For the A to Z of sleeping well, head to the hub, sleephub.com.au.